Hello there, ladies and gents. It is your favorite, but also most admirable trash panda who is currently awake right now at three o'clock in the morning. Do you want to know what's one of my favorite things to do whenever you just can't quite get yourself into that daze of just a measurable unconsciousness just so you can get ready for your next day? Browsing YouTube or just leaving YouTube on in the background. And we all have our favorite creators. Some of us, you know, like a specific creator more than others. And some of us have our niche little small content creators that don't even have a thousand subscribers, but we still support them because their content is either different or we just like it. One content creator that, you know, has undoubtedly been kind of in my uh, top 10, like favorite creators, especially back in the day when YouTube was all I watched and all I cared about, you know, coming home from school and not actively, you know, doing your most responsible things, such as doing the chores your mom gets on your back about, or doing the homework that you're going to do. And then you're going to do last minute when you go into school and most likely fail that, you know, class because you're not doing any of your homework. Yeah. That's what my life was like the last couple of years. You'd come home, and that's all you do. You fire up YouTube, load up your favorite content creator, and just escape reality for a couple of hours until you eat dinner and get a shower and go back to bed and repeat the cycle all over again. Now, today I'm going to be talking about a specific YouTuber, which you can probably already read from the title, Mr. Merck Music, or should I say Eric rather than Merck Music. But I'm going to be talking about this content creator today because I'd like to bring it to all of my, you know, small audience of about 30 subscribers some of the shady shit that he's done. And to an extent, some of this information is quite old and you could argue that I'm late on this topic. So I will say that first and foremost, I apologize if this information does seem kind of late, but I think it's nice if I bring attention to this because I don't think a lot of people know about this. And even of the people who do know about this, I would still like to say my piece towards Eric by the end of this video, which of course he's not going to see this whatsoever. And even if he does see this, he's probably not going to reply to it. If anything, he's probably going to end up blocking me on social media platforms just so I can't get to him. But we'll talk about that later. In the meantime, I would like to quickly just go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the scummy or shady things that Merck Music has done in the past. And when I mean in the past, I mean retrospectively, it's not in the past so much as it's before he blew up on YouTube. This is still fairly, you know, fairly recently, but it is a couple of years old. So with that being said, we have Merck Music's YouTube channel right here. This is the same YouTube channel that you're probably going to see when you click off of this video in the event that, you know, somehow you might want to go back and actually watch some of his videos. This is the current webpage of Merck Music right here. And you might think to yourself, well, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. You know, you've got your generic, you know, like categories of videos that you can click on from his most recent uploads to popular, your shorts category, you know, his series that he cares a lot about that, you know, he tries to promote so people will actually watch it. It's very generic stuff. It's very average. It's stuff that he would want to promote just in case he has either, you know, returning subscribers or he wants somewhere for his new audience to go in case they want more content from him. And again, like I said, you might say there's nothing quite wrong with this. It's very generic. You're right. There isn't necessarily anything wrong with it, but to start this off to kind of explain some of the scummy stuff he's done. I'm going to take you guys back in the past to five years. So right here, what I actually have is an internet archive version of Merck Music's channel. This is an internet archive uh, web page, so to speak, uh, that's actually in the past. This is uh, a screenshot slash internet archive version of his channel from 2017. This is considered the after prime period of Merck Music, where he was still, you know, the Merck Music we all knew grew to love because he was still pulling in, you know, a million views on each video, and he still had the sizable audience that everybody cared about. But this was after the Black Ops 3 era, but before the era that we'll get into in a second. And if we do a quick glance on this Merc Music profile picture right here, or this uh, channel page, my apologies, you'll notice that there's some categories that have, you know, seemingly been removed. For example, Merc Music's trolling reactions, this entire, you know, section of video is, well, it's no longer here. He completely, you know, took this down. Well, that's fine. You know, a lot of people probably aren't even into trolling as much as they were back in the day. And well, he hasn't really been known for trolling. So it kind of makes sense. Black Ops three funny moments. He took that down because the game's not relevant. Makes sense. GTA five funny moments, kind of the same category, but we scroll down just a little bit further for, you know, the other kind of categories that he might want to send his subscribers. And we get to this category, the Xbox messages playlist or the entire category, which, you know, a lot of people found Merck music for anyway. 
Now, if I actually go ahead and quickly show you this playlist right, right quick, if I can actually get it loaded up for you, like I said, you'll notice this is a playlist of 32 videos, which mainly consist of, you know, Xbox messages, some PS4 messages, videos here and there, you know, which is just him trying to get give back to his community, you know, read the nice messages that people send him over, you know, DMs and all that stuff just to show he appreciates his community. And you might say, well, what's wrong with that? It's just a YouTuber trying to be nice to his audience and whatnot. Well, this is the point, uh, or one of the points that I want to talk about when it comes to him being kind of a scumbag. Something you'll notice about this, and the reason I'm bringing attention to this playlist in particular, is it's completely gone from his channel. And I don't just mean gone from this, you know, page right here that we were speaking about earlier. I mean, if you go through his playlist and actually try to find this, it's not here. We can scroll back as much as we want. The playlist is not here. And even if you wanted to, like I said, it's completely not here. You have a few videos that are still, you know, here in playlists that, you know, don't quite make that much sense, but you're not going to find Xbox messages. And you might say to yourself, well, why is that? Well, <laughs> it's a good question that you're asking that to me. He deleted every single one of these videos. If I'm not mistaken, I think actually that this video right here, the aimbot headset video is the only video that is still on his channel. I think that this is the only video that was in this collection of playlists or in this collection of videos, my apologies, that is still on his channel. And I don't just mean these videos have been completely privatized. I mean, these videos are fucking gone. They are completely gone from his channel. So real quickly, if I try to open up this link real quick, it's going to try to link me to an internet archive version. So we're not going to link it through here. We're just going to actually paste this uh, into YouTube search bar, or should I say into Google Chrome search bar. If we actually try to find one of these videos and you could pick any video, it's not here. And here's the difference between, you know, the video being, you know, private versus deleted for those that don't know. If the video was, let's say, for example, completely privated, it would just say this video is private and cannot be viewed, or it would just say this video is private. But the fact that it says this video is, isn't available anymore means that it has been deleted from the creator's channel. So, like I said, to reiterate, all of these videos are completely gone. Now, I want to bring attention to two content creators here who are not involved with Merc Music, but are a little bit more involved in the entire Merc Music drama that they want to, you know, call it when they're, you know, comes to them bringing attention to the scummy stuff that he does. Those two YouTubers are Delio, who actually made an entire seven video playlist that he proclaims as the Merc Music saga. This is his attempt to actually bring attention to all of the scummy stuff that he has done. Now, from what I understand, I'm pretty sure he is done making videos about Merc Music because he's already set his piece. He's already got what he wants to, you know, bring up to light to other people. He's already got, you know, all the stuff out there that he wants to know, such as he blocked all of his friends, you know, his wife ended up blocking him and all that other kind of stuff. Merc Music's deleting his videos and all this other, you know, stuff right here, or even just him deleting donations, for example. He's already got his piece out. He doesn't have anything else that he really wants to say to him. And that's so fine. If anything, we can respect him for saying his piece and moving on. So if you want more uh, content, or at least on this situation, I highly encourage you to go watch uh, all seven of his videos because there's probably going to be some stuff that I forget to mention in this video that him himself has probably already mentioned. And in advance, I apologize if I actually, you know, do forget to say anything. But the second person I want to bring attention to is this YouTuber, Gonky. Like I said, he's not involved with Merc Music. He wasn't one of any of his friends, but he also does the same type of stuff. Well, not does the same type of stuff. I apologize, but he's made a few videos calling out Merc Music and him, you know, kind of being a scumbag when it comes to the way he's been, you know, controlling his channel and his friends in the last years. But something that, you know, that's really cool of him that he actually did was he actually went through and found all of these videos, all of these Xbox messages videos before they were just completely gone. Don't know how he did it. Maybe I'll, you know, contact him one day and I'll actually end up asking. But he has every single Xbox messages video with the exception of, I believe, the Pornhub comments videos. There is one Pornhub comments video that he did save, but from what I understand, there were about five of them. I don't think he has any more than that. And if I am wrong, I apologize. 
But he also has, you know, some of his own videos, such as just him calling out Merc Music, making a joke out of it. Uh, Merc Music's deleting his old videos, blocking his friends, now his own brother, which he made about a year ago to kind of, you know, prove the hypocrisy of Merc Music and the bullshit that he's been doing over the last, you know, two years. And even just this video at the bottom where he's making another joke out of it. So not only does this playlist, like I said, have all those Xbox messages videos that, you know, we just looked at that aren't here uh, on this channel. He also has a few other uh, deleted videos that, you know, he decided to re-upload just because Merc Music was trying to get rid of him. Uh, for example, there's this video right here that he uh, retitled. Merc Music uses the hard R, look, Eric, I can change titles as well. And he also has another video from the shit uh, his people, you know, shit his friends say series, which he had to rename to stuff people say, such as, you know, stuff Mike says. This video right here is one of the most infamous deletions, partially because this video has been mirrored, re-uploaded, whatever term you want to use, a few times. This is not the only re-upload of this video, and there's actually another re-upload that actually has a lot more views, but something that that content creator at the time when he re-uploaded didn't know was all of the scummy stuff that we're going over right now. So if anything, it is good that there are still people who are trying to re-upload these videos and make sure they're still available to see to the public, just so that these videos don't actually die. And a lot of people, you know, are probably end up just doing this as well, just to keep Eric in the loop about, you know, you can't just hide everything from the internet. Because again, for example, this is a Merc Music video right here that got deleted because Eric just straight up just drops an end bomb, you know, completely uncensored. And he's actually done that a few times, but that's not the main focus of this video. So now that we move on from, you know, the re uploads and all that other stuff from, you know, people who called out Eric, re uploaded all this stuff. Let's get on to the next topic I want to talk about, which is him blocking his friends. Now, I want to direct your attention to probably one of his oldest friends on the channel. This right here is Merc Rampage, or was Merc Rampage before, you know, Eric completely just, you know, nuked all of his friends, blocked them, and did whatever. And we're going to explain that situation here very shortly. But he has changed his at since then. But this is Mike. This is probably uh, the most well-known person that was in Eric's old videos that, you know, kind of spiced up the channel, made it a lot more funny because, to be honest, I don't really think Eric was that good at making comedy in his videos. It's mainly his friends that kind of made the channel like a whole lot more lively, made it a lot more active or even just funny for the, you know, common viewer to enjoy. But enough of the rambling. Let's go ahead and actually read this series of tweets that was posted two years ago on September. So this is coming straight from Mike. Let's read it. Even to this day, people are still asking where I am in Eric slash Merc Music's videos. Fact of the matter is a few weeks ago, Omar and Andrew and I had noticed that him and his girlfriend had unfollowed all of us and blocked slash unblocked us to stop them from following them as well. And it, like I said here, or like he's just said here, he didn't, you know, just do it to this friend in particular. He did it to a bunch of his old friends. He did it to good old Benji, or should I just, you know, commonly name him as just Ben. He did this to She Knives, known as Tina. He did this to Merc Mojinx, or Andrew, as Mike says right here. He did this to Omar. And he even did this down here, if you look right here, to his college best friend, Jesse. Think about that for a second. This was somebody that Eric met at college before his channel kind of popped off in quote, and he more or less just got rid of him right here, just blocked him and didn't do anything about it. But this was something as well that I wanted to bring attention to because it's another one of his friends, uh, you know, that he ended up blocking, but this one was the most disheartening for me. This person right here is Andrew. This is the one uh, that Mike was talking about right here, where he said, notice that they had been blocked on all those platforms and whatnot. And Andrew took this very, very, very seriously. And that should be pretty evident by the total of thread tweets that he ended up tweeting out. Now, I will say this much. I'm not going to read all of these here, but if you would like to read all these for yourself, I will leave links to these tweets in the description below, and you can read these all out for yourself. But long story short, Andrew takes this a whole lot more seriously than everybody else did. And... It's actually pretty sad to, you know, realize because for the most part, when Andrew was on that channel and he was in videos and whatnot, you could make the argument that he was just a hyperactive kid who tried to make, you know, Eric's videos more entertaining just by being, you know, over the top and whatnot. But at the heart of it all, he was probably one of the most down to earth people that was on that channel to begin with, you know, trying to make people laugh and make everybody feel happy about everything. 
And just to see Eric block him and then have him tweet all this, just acting like he doesn't care, that's pretty sad and that's pretty disheartening. But like I said, Andrew was one of the few people that took this very, very, very seriously, as you can tell. You know, you can just keep scrolling, and I don't even think I got all the tweets. Yeah, okay, so there was one more. But you can see he just goes on an entire, entire, you know, just rant about it and more or less just says, you know, Eric's kind of a fucking scumbag for this. And... All rightly so. So as I said before, there, you know, there wasn't just Omar and Andrew. There were also a few other people. So if I go back to Mike's page, I actually have all these people on my following list. So it's just easier if I do this. This right here at the top is good old Benji or Ben. This is one of the, you know, other people that Merck ended up blocking after he completely got rid of all of his friends. This right here is Omar. This is Andrew. This is Jesse. This right here is She Knives or Tina. This is another one of the most well-known people he had here. And well, down here's Xbox support. I don't know if he ends up having them some having them blocked. I just follow them because, well, <coughs> I gotta keep updated with my own console. But now that we move on from just him blocking his friends and whatnot, and now that we're kind of caught up to speed, let me actually just go ahead and kind of backpedal back to what we were talking about when it came to deleting uh, videos and stuff like that. One of the most apparent cases or another evidence piece that he was deleting videos more or less to try to, you know, kind of forget that, you know, he even had friends in the first place is this video right here. This was the last video that he ended up making in 2018 before going on his around one to three month hiatus uh, during that summer of 2018. And I'm just gonna let this part of the video right here play so you can understand what point I'm about to make. As well, if you guys missed it, the last video I uploaded was shit Andrew says re-uploaded. It's a classic video. I had to take it down before, but now it's back up. So if you guys missed that, I'll have the link in the description of this video as well. And yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So he says that he had to re-upload this video, which he actually does explain in a different now again deleted video why it was deleted but that's not the point of this video the link is still here uh where is it yep there it is the link to this video is still here but what do you think is going to happen when i click on this link exactly it's what you thought was going to happen the video is no longer there now this just raises so one final thing that i actually want to quickly say and i want to speak my piece real quick uh to eric even though i said beforehand he's probably not going to see this video and even if he does, he's probably just going to end up, you know, privating uh, or not privating. But he's going to probably end up blocking me on a bunch of platforms if he really wants to go through that effort. So if I'm speaking directly to Eric here, Eric, I, I, I think I think it's about time that you at least address this, because here's the thing. Even if people, you know, big name people don't call you out on this, you know, channels that are either bigger in size or this doesn't reach the attention of every single person out there large enough to, you know, actually have you kind of go back and just rethink the decisions you made. You can't just pretend like this isn't scummy. Okay. You can't just pretend like this isn't kind of shitty of what you've done. And I understand that you can't just, you know, or I can't just have, you know, everything be like how it was five years ago. And that's not the point that I'm getting at here. I'm not saying I want these people back in videos, but what I am saying is you really need to address this because you, at some point, this is going to catch up to you. And at some point, you're going to have a sizable enough portion of people who either figure this stuff out and start calling you out on it a lot more, or you're going to get to a point where, you know, they're eventually, like I said, well, to kind of reiterate, people are just going to figure this stuff out on their own. They're going to call you out for it. And then by that point, it'll be too late. Now, even if you don't necessarily, you know, fix the friendship you had with these people and you don't, you know, ever get to talk to them again, you really should say your piece to at least explain what's going on. Because the fact that you essentially trashed the people that kind of made your channel, like you wouldn't be here without these people in the first place. And now you're pretending like they don't exist. And you're pretending like you made this entire channel, this entire uh, 12 to 13 year long YouTube journey just by yourself is a flat out bullshit scumbag type of way to live your entire channel. There's a difference between not doing YouTube, you know, like a decent person where you care about your audience, you know, and just doing it for the money. But there's a difference between that and just being a complete scumbag. And personally, I think this is probably one of the biggest fuck ups that I've ever seen from a YouTuber. And the fact that you're trying to hide this more or less and try to pretend like this didn't happen is really shady and really scummy coming from somebody like you. 
somebody who back in the day, you know, used to claim all the time that he loved his audience and he loved his friends. And now even when he does say he loves his fans, it's <laughs> it's kind of shallow. It doesn't actually feel like he means half the shit he says or even if he does say it, it's just to kind of distract people from the shit that we're calling him out on right now. So to kind of conclude this video, because this has been going on for around 20 minutes and it is kind of long, Eric, if you do happen to see this video, please, I encourage you to just speak out on this or say something. It's better to at least bring attention to it to kind of apologize rather than just letting this sit over time, because eventually you're going to get to a point where people are going to call you out and just kind of fuck your career over from there anyway. And who's to say you already haven't fucked your career over, but Ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I had to say. That's really all I wanted to bring your attention on right here. And I will see you guys next time.